Hey guys, it's CBJ. It is a joy that you guys have agreed to partner with us in our Be Rich to Others outreach, expanding our relationship and partnership beyond a shared building to shared mission in the world. I just think that's fabulous. I want to give you a little insight in terms of the Christian scripture that we use to shape and brand uh, this effort. Uh, it comes to us by the Apostle Paul, who was born and shaped by Judaism and did a whole lot to give us what we now call the church and defined our faith. He was writing to one of his young mentees, Timothy, in 1 Timothy 6, 17. Here's what he says. He says, look, teach your parishioners who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, he writes, who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. And then watch this. He says this. Tell them to use their money to do good. They should be rich in good deeds and generous to those in need, always being ready to share with others. In other words, be rich to others through extraordinary generosity. That's what he's teaching. Now, as I think about our shared work together across faith and ethnicity and all these other places, Psalms 100, verse 6 comes to my mind. Come on, out of the Hebrew scriptures. For the Lord is good, the psalmist writes. His unfading love continues forever and his faithfulness continues to each generation. Here's the deal. In a time of COVID, racial strife and political division, there are those among us uh, who are among the least of us, uh, who are asking the question, how do I know that the Lord is good? They are among the homeless and the hungry and the unemployed. They are those who are trying to educate at uh, Garfield School, for example, uh, the under-resourced families, and they themselves are under-resourced. And so here's what makes me excited, guys. When we come together with unconditional generosity, across all of our differences, black and white and Asian, Latino and Pacific Islander, Jew and Gentiles, Republicans and Democrats. Uh, when we do so, remembering that Jesus says, what you do for the least of these, you do for me. Surely out of this extraordinary effort of generosity, my prayer is that people across the bay will simply rise up and say, surely, because the servants of the Most High God elected to serve us out of unconditional generosity, surely the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever. And his faithfulness is in every generation. Thank you for partnering with us.